Well, here we have the opposite side of the trailer. I jacked it up here on this side and she spins. But I'm going to try to uh, inspect and most likely change out the bearings on this side as well. And I'm going to uh, start by removing the dust cap. Uh, they do make a tool, kind of like a big set of pliers that uh, you can uh, put on, get behind here to pull it off. But if you don't have that, you just get a, a flat punch, cold chisel, and you go work your way around the outside. And it will come. Sort of once you get it loosened off, you can just twist, and there you go, she came off. And then in here, got a lot of grease, so I'll clean that up. But then I have the caster nut and the cotter pin, and I'll have to get pliers to get the cotter pin out. There, you see the cotter pin. Clean up some more grease and then grab some pliers. So now I got the pliers. I'm gonna straighten out the cotter pin. Needle those pliers, of course. And as you can see, or here, when I go back and forth. When I go back and forth like that, it's got a bit of play, so the nut could be a little bit loose, but I'm going to inspect anyways. Uh, the other side it was pretty bad, the uh, inner bearing, the outer was fine, but I'm going to inspect this side anyway, so I'll continue pulling out the uh, cotter pin. So I got the cotter pin out, and now I'll loosen off the caster nut which should release the hub and the full wheel attached, unlike the other one I did, where I undid the wheel and then took off the hub. And there's the nut. Now the wheel and everything should just pop right up like that. And now we'll be able to roll him away and inspect him. And as you can see, spindle looks good. On the uh, other side, part of the inner bearing was seized on there. I had to heat it up with it. So now we'll get to inspecting the rest of the tire here. And the uh, bearing fell out there. Alrighty, so here's the uh, outer part and uh, the uh, race inside there looks good. Well, we'll still go around and clean it out and we'll grab another piece of paper towel to keep wiping. Get all the old grease out. And there you can see the race looks good. So we'll flip her around, we'll flip her around, and here's a different story. Uh, you can kind of see uh, uh, elements have gotten to the part of the outer seal, the inner seal here on the spindle, and the uh, grease has got some miles on them and maybe contaminants. So we're going to end up having to pull out this seal and uh, reinstall a new seal. And uh, I'm going to clean up the uh, spindle shaft here too while I'm at it. So uh, we'll uh, get to uh, cleaning up the spindle shaft first here. Alrighty, so on closer inspection here of the uh, spindle, we can see in around here some uh, surfaced rust. Um, nothing really worn too much there in the line of grooves. Um, I'm going to wipe her down and uh, take off the excess grease here. So to clean here 
where the seal is going to go you want to have a clean surface I'm going to take a uh, wire brush and clean them up so, so she's nice and clean and then as you can see a spindle's getting uh, contaminated there so I'll have to give him a good wipe down with clean dry paper towel you could do it in the opposite order get it all dirty and then clean it but you want it nice and clean So now that she's ni all nice and clean, we're going to go to uh, getting the seal out and uh, we're going to end up having to probably grab on with vice grips or we could go through and try to punch him out from the other side, but uh, he's pretty crusty there. So it's a good thing we're checking checking and changing out here while we did. Uh, so it didn't get as bad as the other side. Uh, the other side, uh, the spindle needed cleaning up there. So this side we got lucky, caught him in time. So we'll try with uh, vice grips seeing if we can work them loose there. Don't care if we tear them up because we got a new seal. So here's how I put the vice grips on and just tightened down, pulled, and here she came there. So as you can see, she's pretty crusty in there. So now we can pull out, pull out the bearing and uh, lots of grease there. So once I get them kind of cleaned up to see I'll show you alrighty so all cleaned up there uh, as you can see the uh, race has some uh, rust and looks like pitting too and even the inside of the hub if you see there so we're gonna go ahead and uh, punch out that race and uh, I'll show you what I'm gonna do. Uh, quick show you the bearing there. The backside here, the groove kind of has some thick dirt in it. So good catch here. She still still rolls and everything. But anyways, we'll continue on.
now I'm going to uh, put in the new uh, seal so same idea as before I'm gonna get them down lightly so I'm gonna grab uh, this piece of wood and just tap and there we have it he's sitting nice and flush So, now we'll get ready to uh, pack the next bearing. Alright, so now we're going to get ready to reinstall here. We're going to leave the outer bearing off till we get them on the uh, spindle. Now we're going to put on the uh, caster nut. So you want to get your cotter pin tightened up there and uh, bent out, bent, uh, bent so she can't fall out and then uh, reinstall your uh, caps there with grease or you can install bearing buddies which have a grease nipple put into them and then just a little rubber cover you pull off but uh, I can't put them on this trailer, I don't have enough clearance and uh, uh, anyways put on these new shiny covers. Uh, you put it on this side, not the other side. We'll see how well this this one stays on because he's all the way tight and I can do that so it's not looking too good but we'll see if it stays on and if it does then we'll uh, put uh, put it on the other side that got damaged and uh, redneck repaired. Yeah so when I took this side off there uh, to check them and discover the moisture problem in the cap uh, I ended up putting some holes into him with my uh, flathead screwdriver so I just uh, glued them, uh, glued the hole shut there, reinstalled them. So now that both bearings are done there, I'm going to take note in, uh, in the, uh, with the paperwork for the trailer, uh, saying when they were done and how far I went. So the other side I went, uh, both uh, races were placed. This side I only did the outer race. So I'll have to note that down. And now it's a matter of each year making sure the, uh, at least once a year, making sure there's enough grease in there.